You are Yuri Gurka, Cossack of the Plains, grandchild of the Wolves' Hundred. I have a message for you from Helga Albrecht and the Rabbi Nachman. Oh my God. This is glorious. Wow. Oh my God. We count three sets of boot prints on the approach. We got a stolen crotch rocket in the trees, plus some kind of homemade ramp we think caused the up end. You saw the vehicle on the way in? If I could just get a look inside the bus, my suspect, well, she's real memorable. A woman, you said? No women on the bus, I can tell you that. Anything I can... That uh, patch on your coat, it's a U.S. Marshal? No, sir. Well, we'll call you when we find it. Either way. Either? Dead or alive. God, I almost forgot about him. Guys, is he home? We got a meeting. Yeah. What the heck? <sighs> Sai, come in. We're just having lunch, my dear. Where's Emmett? I tried calling yesterday, but. In fact, there's some very good news. Good news? <laughs> yes. Today, you are five million dollars richer than you were yesterday. What? Year-end bonuses. We already... Round two. I, I'm not very hungry. Now, now, it'd make you eat be a shame to let it all go to waste. Think of all them starving children. What about some tea, then? Eh? And see a nice cuppa? Sure. Good Christ. Sugar? No, I, that's fine. It was my mum's recipe. The secret of which she smuggled beneath her bosom all the way from Wales to Bristol. This is like half an hour. <laughs> you just cross the bridge. <laughs> A little bitter. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll try some more. I think you'll find it smooths out nicely. Oh no. Not again. Right, well, I'll tell the big man you stopped by and don't worry about all this trouble with the police. I think you'll find these things have a way of clearing themselves up. Five million. Bye-bye, Mr. Phelps. Just take the money and run, Si. has got that look of like when a loyal dog with an abusive owner really like kicks it and it just can't believe it's being kicked because <clears throat> no you okay there chief just <coughs> give me a minute <coughs> jeez I'm okay. You're not. No. Oh. <laughs> they killed him. Well, that's not right. They killed Ty. Oh, jeez. Call 911. Did I make them? Oh, you. I can't even look at you right now, mister. 
No. How's he doing? Spoke to Mr. Feltz's doctor last week. He says they're still stumped. Some kind of toxic shock sounds like. What kind of toxic is my question? Toxic as in toxin? As in poison? Like that Russian fella. I already spoke to your boss. Both of you. This is harassment. We're on our lunch break. Party with Shepard's Pie Day in the cafeteria. And here you are. Wasn't that your brother's car? I'm, uh... I must have parked somewhere else. I had to take a taxi. I think my car was stolen. Stolen? Do you want me to... No, no, no. I've just been silly, probably. Just forgot where I parked. Pause. Wait, so did he actually... Did he, is he driving Ray's car? Or did he drive his car there and someone took his car and replaced it with Ray's as, like, a message? Like, Nicky? Jeez, oh. we got the intercom. What the shit is this? <gasps> it's I don't know. <laughs> Someone I came in this morning thought maybe you'd be decorated. I want. They have logs at the front desk, yeah? Yes. C comings and goings and uh, cameras. Mr. Sussy, you're hurting me. Oh, sorry. Mm. You know, maybe Mr. Varga, he does odd things sometimes. Maybe. I, I bet that's it, Maddie. Probably he, he told me and I forgot. Sorry about your arm. No, it's. You were surprised, is all. I'm so happy right now, like, in my soul. You're going down, Vargo. And you. You've got an appointment with a man at the bowling alley. Ray, somehow he... I can feel him watching me. You dead brother. How interesting. Listen, I think we should... I think we need more men. Ray's car was parked in my spot. The Corvette. At the hospital. You were at the hospital. <laughs> now I'm standing in my office. And all the pictures. Are... Emmy. Emmy, are you listening? Yes. You won. I won? What, what did I win? Life. Uh, sit tight. Memo will be over presently to take you home. There are some papers to sign. You're selling a shopping mall. You want a shopping mall? Doesn't even know what he owns anymore. This has got completely out of hand. As a what? And you were here the whole time. It's me. It's my fault. A, a father dead on a driveway. An older brother taken advantage of, of a younger. Neymar, settle. You have to remember that even heroes can lose sight of what's real from time to time. Take these. What are they? A mild sedative. Something to stop the engines racing. Uh. One day in September 1945, a blizzard of paper fell from the sky. Leaflets dropped in their hundreds by the Allied forces to tell the Japanese soldiers stationed there that the war was over. One man 
refused to believe. Lieutenant Hiro Onoda, a man of honor, and as the rest of the world went about its business, 1946, 47, 50, 64, 71, mm -hmm. as peace was made in a Cold War fort, Hiro Onoda battled on a tireless soldier of the Emperor's Imperial Army and the last man to die for an ideal. He was just a boy. He used to follow me around after school. What we're doing here, the sober affairs of men, these are feats of great strength, of cunning and fortitude, not child's play, not the best you can do. Nobody remembers the second man to climb Mount Everest. That's it. Sleep now. Everything will be clearer in the morning. Emmett Stussy. I want to confess. Whoa! <gasps> that was absolutely crazy. One episode. So Emmett has turned himself in. Oh, I can't even go into that. We'll just we'll do that in the intro to next episode because that's gonna be that's gonna be massive. But key drama, Mr. Wrench and Nikki made it. They took that guy's head off. I can't even go over all the drama in this episode because it's just... Blah, blah, blah. But bottom line, Wrench and Nikki end up in the, the bowling alley heaven's waiting room situation. And I feel like Rabbi Nachman came up... Was it the Rooster Prince? Rabbi Nachman came up with... He came up with one of the parables, I think, in season one. And I think it was the Rooster Prince. But that was unreal. So the guy from the plane who saw Gloria is some, what, God? Yahweh? He looked at their souls and decided they deserved another chance and they got a car, a getaway, the whole nine yards. And then Yuri Gurkha showed up and finally justice for Helga Albrecht from episode one. He'd murdered her and he was clearly one of the Cossacks that had been um, responsible for maybe pogroms in the Ukraine, but it seems quite late for pogroms. He doesn't look if he was 20 and yeah, he couldn't have been around, but we get it. He killed a lot of people and um, he never came back. And I just thought that was be beautifully done. I felt like a keen sense of justice at him looking up and there she was and there were everyone he's responsible for killing. That was amazing. And it's also like exactly the same setup as the Big Lebowski where there's the um the dude abides, you know, he sits with Sam Elliott in um in the bar and he's like, Sometimes you eat the bar, some days the bar eats you. And you know, this we never know who that guy is. But that was an extreme trail of destruction behind Nikki and Mr. Wrench. Gurkha and um, his accomplice, I think they wiped out most of the prisoners that were in the transport van. 
they killed the hunters, they killed the couple in the car. <sighs> but he got his comeuppance. And then we have Sai taken out with toxic tea. Why he took a drink? I don't so he's in a coma, likely never to, to wake again. And months have now gone by. Gloria is getting finally the dissolution of her marriage. And Sai has been in a coma for months. Emmett is being taunted by, I'm going to assume, Nikki, because I don't see who else is around to play the games. I thought at first that Varga and Matt were doing it, but he he seemed too surprised. So I don't, I don't think it was them. I thought they were going to send him mad and get rid of him. But it looks like he's at, kind of outfoxed them. He didn't take the tranquilizers and he's gone and taken himself to jail, which means I guess their only option now is to get rid of him, but they tried to get rid of Nicky. But man, can we see Varga with the... God man. That was amazing. Is he Rabbi? Is he playing Rabbi Nachman? Oh, I'm not going to Google it because I don't want to spoil it. But I'll find out at the end of this. So don't tell me in the comments. I don't want to know until it's official. But yeah, that episode was really, really good. It set us up for a fantastic two episodes now to to wrap this up. I can't believe there's only two episodes. So, until the next time, bye-bye.